Hello everyone, it's Love here and guys, today what you will see will absolutely make your jaw drop, alright? This will be the best game you have ever seen, at least for this year. So let's go into games, we are playing Ors of Control with Arena, Robbery, a lot of Cardo, some duresses to interrupt the, you know, all the control decks and Reverie into Lockdown, into Sunfall against all the aggro decks. So we have a really decent matchup against everything, so guys prepare like you you need to prepare some popcorn for this one because it will be epic i promise you so guys have fun and i hope you'll enjoy it boy i'm excited for this one and you know what i see jace with no sleeve so we know what that is uh of course we will see we'll see uh what do mm, we don't get good care for this but we're on the pl i will take it and we'll see how it goes i could cast it Oh my god, Jay started to be a control deck now. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I need more lands, yeah, let's take it. I will probably try to sneak Celestus and we will check our opponent again for no more lies. <laughs> it is possible they don't have it, right? Is that like 11th game? Oh my god, finally. Guys, we managed to get a game where Jace is Jace and we are casting Celestus and there is no more lies. All right, we can start playing now. Uh, we will have Emperor, we will cycle the lockdown, so it's looking good for us. They are actually going good, Jace. Well, that's aggressive, and I guess it makes some sense. But if we have removal for this, they're losing, well, quite a lot. Oh my god, the Robbery and Liliana, two of the insanely good cards. I see, I see. Let's play the land. Because why not? Do I need more? I kind of want to. Alright, so how do we go about it? I think we just force some, you know, reaction here and let's make a token. That forces part of their mana to be used against, you know, uh, the samurai and possibly the emperor. Alright, well, I guess they don't need to. <laughs> they will need to do it on the next turn though, so it's kind of the same. Main face memorizer so they don't flip Celestus. That's commitment. However, they don't know about the duress. You know? And we are taking clans because we have rubber in the hand. Alright. So I can cycle a card. Hmm, I cannot flip into I cannot activate it and double spell. That will be a little bit too much. Well, we will definitely do this, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So they have depopulate and three steps ahead. Normally, we want to, well, <laughs> they really want to protect Jace. Let's go for this play. That's normally not how I play. But here, I think it might be worthwhile. And I guess let's cycle this because we won't get, we won't get better value than this. All right. We do not attack, we do not send the message. So they want they have five mana. They can go for the counter spell, but then they're losing Jace potentially. Especially that they need to target one of the samurais first and then we buff the other one. So it will actually be three damage. So they need to draw something that removes the uh, the token, otherwise they're losing Jace. We'll see how it goes, but listen, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, they highlighted clue, so that gets me thinking that they don't have the answer and they consider drawing it. Uh, they can play the Tidebinder, so that's something we need to be careful. Alright, so we try to pump the Samurai and they probably cast the Tidebinder, right? And if we attack, they trade. But then we play Liliana and then... And they don't lose Jace, but it's still at one. So that's kind of good for us. Yeah, they need to do it now. Oh, they went, they let it through. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, let's see it. They might just use it as a blocker. But that means they need to tap out and we are at full mana. Of course they drew the card. Why wouldn't they, right? Oh boy, so we can go for the nice robbery or go Liliana and start discarding cards. And I'm honestly not sure which one is better. Uh, 
If we do Robber on the next turn, it's better. So let's go Liliana. We still have three mana, so even if they if that is normalized, they still you know and uh, don't get the thing. To be absolutely honest, lockdown kills basically. Uh, okay, uh, lockdown kills the clues, but at the same time it also kills my my board, and I don't want to waste it. Rubber is nice because the cards are not in. Uh, cards are not in uh, your hands, so you can actually discard with Liliana very nicely. A Taplan, that's important. They need to do something on the next turn, so the mana is super important. Right now, the, the, right now they have the Tide Binder into Clue. Oh man, they are just main phasing this. It's interesting because I have only one card. Usually, the last card is the best one. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the, cyc the you know preventing cycling isn't as important here. But they're going with it, and that's that's a you fair you know, option. Arena, well, 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 well. I mean, this is the moment to robbery, I think. So we go four five. If we are doing it, we are doing it now. All right, done, courage. I cannot go for the discard because Arena is super important. Right? Is it? I really think it is. We still have two Emperors, so that's oh, interesting. Yeah. We'll have way more Emperors than them. <sighs> arena, Arena. I will lack value in like two, three turns. The game might be over by then, but I will try. Well, theoretically, if we discard this, like, I have Celestus to start drawing more stuff. You know, we have so much value, I will keep doing this. And we still discard one of the cards from opponent. It's not like I'm the only one discarding. But it definitely hurts me more than them. See, there was no Molai. Our opponent was good at magic. But we had three to pay, so that's why we, he didn't counter it. So I kind of forced him to answer Liliana. And if we want to ultimate, we need this, uh, you know, not be able to be played. So he needs to be tapped or it has to be played for something else. Of course. Jace is a true menace this game. Man, this basically buffered probably like 8-10 damage by now. But we are going for the same play again. We'll see. We also have the Anchorage now. And we can activate it because we have Celestus. Uh, they have Field of Ruin, but it costs mana. I usually cast robbery because I want to sh make sure that I develop every turn, so, you know. Alright, alright, that's what I'm talking about. But, man, if they are doing it main phase to prevent this, and it seems like it, that makes no sense because I didn't have cards, I couldn't cycle anything. Uh, so how do we play? I will play this, I want cards, well, if I want to discard with Liliana, and I do. Hmm. All right, let's think about it. I would really love to kill Jace. I have a Ganja, but I cannot use it. If I use Ada, I think we are going with the Anchorage. That's weird, but I think this is the play. They can uh, counter every ability. You need to remember that one. And I will pump this, just because it's so irritating to answer. Alright, so that means 2 damage on the Jace. And I will probably take the mana from it. And not sure why, but maybe we play the Emperor, we'll see. I don't have too many basics by the way, so I need to be careful. Let's go for white mana for no reason. I wanted to say that I shouldn't go with Celestus uh, tap, because I can use it uh, as an ability, but I forgot I needed blue mana. So. Uh, if I want to plus Liliana, well, I can go for the Emperor when they go Anchorage, right? That's not a bad play. That means they don't have uh, enough uh, for the Tide Binder, and now we can use Liliana. They probably keep it for the Ultimate, because they think we don't know how it works. But we do. It was done before, and <laughs> I still feel the pain. I think that was against Sorin Ultimate, right? All right, three dam two damage acquired. That's a good start.
I think we didn't cast anything this turn, right? I'm not sure, I think we didn't. So we will flip and we don't care about it because we have no cards. <laughs> so we respectfully decline because we might mill, for example, robbery and that we will be very sad. Alright, four. If he discarded no more ice, it is possible they don't have more. Alright. So they are probably going with the Anchorage, I would guess. And try to prevent the Liliana ultimate. Or they go tight binder. We will see. One of the two. Alright. Okay, that's acceptable. That's a decent meal. And they didn't go for this. Alright. But we'll play the Emperor, and that's more than they expected. Because now we can have, uh, you know, hit for Jace. They can block with the Anchorage, but that means no tight binder. Uh, let's make the right one. Hat's coming off. So they're waiting for this tight binder play. That means they probably won't counter literally anything else. <laughs> let's go with the planes, because of reasons. All right. Show me. How much do you care about your Jace? It has perfected mind, but it's also dead. They cannot tap. They absolutely cannot tap. <laughs> Alright, so how do we go about his smart play? He thinks he's smart. Well, that's kinda true. I think we cycle this and we see what we draw. And then we'll make up our mind. I still have one more Emperor from him, so that's important. Okay, please don't tell me I play the land. I play the land. Oh my god, I'm so bad at magic, it hurts. Oh man, that was insane blunder. If Right now I could be plus Inkliniana. But instead we have to go like this. Because I really need this Mirex, it's really important. Especially they use Field of Ruin. Did they? Yeah, they used it for something. And I mean, that's kinda it, right? I don't want to plus Linian, I want to keep her. If they use Anchorage, uh, they can use two of them. So they can prevent the ultimate. We are not going for it, my friend. That means we kind of hold hostage at least three mana a turn, but it's, it's not like, you know, uh, well, I cannot cycle it. It's a good card. It also shows our opponent that uh, our card that we drew is really good if we assume that there are no better cards in the deck. Because you can always decide to not discard the one you have, so, you know, generally there's very little downside. See? He's, he's keeping the mana. Oh man, double punished for this bad play. Oh, I love it. Kinda. Maybe. Alright, how do we want to play it? Now I cannot discard. Man, I missed two discards. Two activations for Liliana, uh, just because I'm bad at magic and I play the land. That's look how dif big difference it made. Uh, if I lose, it might be because of this. All right, so what do we go for? I can try to pressure him even more. If he plays Sunfall, he still has enough. Do I want to be wasteful? I think we want to be wasteful. I don't need to do it now, but I want to send the message, you know? And yes, he can use the Anchorages, but he probably won't. Like, you don't like tapping in this kind of situation as a control player. Normally I would flip Celestus, so I can double cycle, but because my cards are good, I don't want to do it anymore. Man, I really butchered this part of the game. I don't want to play Emperor right now. They also need a hard counter spell. They probably will have it with the second memory Dursh or the third, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think we we need to play it at the end step if they play sweet. Like we're getting to the point where they kinda need to react to this. Unfortunately, the reaction is super cheap for them, but you know, we will take it. At least it's three mana that is tapped. We need to, you know, get it done, but I would prefer Sunfall. I guess there's token, so it's not, you know, all rainbows, but I think it still would be better. So basically they need to keep it forever. 
as long as Liliana is in the board, because uh, the ultimate honestly isn't super amazing. I uh, see, three mana is here. But this is just a counter spell. If they didn't draw cards, uh, that's interesting. Let's make a might. And now the new plan is on. We absolutely decline respectfully. Hmm. This is awkward. So I want to play Mirex, but I honestly want to try to hit something else. Uh, I could cycle one card. If I plus... I mean, they can counter it. So we, I think we will hold this. Ma Basically, we are forcing a three mana tax. So suddenly they have one third, like two thirds of his mana every single turn. And now we are going with the Mirex plan, and we will cycle this with Celestus. Man, is that the third row I'm missing? Literally, because I'm bad at magic and I played the land on that turn. I think so. Imagine three extra activations. You know, this is actually a little bit better. This gives us uncounterable removal for the Anchorages. It might be important. But now we are going into Mirex Offensive. Unfortunately, they got the card. Alright, so... I mean, Liliana did her part. That was a huge, you know, moment where we were trying to threaten it. Unfortunately, it didn't work fully. They can also activate it. I'm not sure if that's a non-land. I don't really want to give him ideas. All right, that was quick enough, I hope. If and a B, okay. Okay, but it has to be artifact, creature, or planeswalker. And Mirex is neither. All right, all right, all right. You know what, that's not bad. Do I want to deal extra damage? Yep, yep, I do. 32 cards, we need to be, you know, a little bit scared because uh, very soon we'll get double jaced. But I think I need to take the risk. I won't kill him in time. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. It might pro uh, force him. I have Celesto, so my card selection is decent. I didn't count the mana for double Mirex, but we have it. Alright, we have it. Alright, we attack and we see what happens. Okay, this is exactly what I assumed. Uh, let's see the block first. I'll tell you why in a second. Because on the next turn he knows that I can go for the throw this. So this is the last moment, as far as he knows, to use this kind of uh, ability. And we want to keep up the pressure. Two poison and l one less land. Unfortunately now the tax from the tight binder is kinda gone. All right, that's fine. It had to hurt at some point. <laughs> All right, and now we have good target for removal. Yeah, we cannot use this again because it's not in our hand. All right, two poison, fully tapped. And uh, let's play this one. I didn't double spell. I actually didn't play any spell, I believe. I could go with a ganja for extra mana. Why would you tap my mirror? What? I think it tapped my mirex as well. Man, I'm losing so much value on bad plays. Alright, that was a, a bit of a disaster. I think I could activate another mirex if I played a ganjo. And I think it was tapped because, uh, you know, the tapper doesn't count the lands that you can play. Still, we will go with the Mirex plan. We need to make a lot of work with it. They know about the go for the throat. We could go with the Anchorage, but we probably want it later. Well, it kind of hurts. So we, we have basically four mana. Four or five mana. Yeah, let's go with this one five mana open so we could go with the fortress if we really really care 
is that better to go for sorry Ben, I need to think because we can go Aether, go for the throat play at then step and then push super hard on the next turn. Like his mana is fully open right now. He can block two creatures basically. And he doesn't really lose anything with it. But I need to pressure him, otherwise he will cast Memory Dirge and get the last races that he wants. I want to kill the Anchor just more. Because they are also the, you know, the land. Let's try to kill it, we'll see if it works. Even tapping our mana is good for our opponent, uh, but he needs to tap more than 3. So he probably needs a hard counter spell for this. And of course he has one, also drawing cards, good for him. Uh, but to be fair, like it is expected at this point. Like he, we nearly drew our full Riber, so I could actually count what he has in the hand, most likely. And we are at thirty-one cards, so Jay's death in two turns. Yep. We basically tax his mana right now because he needs four mana at least to make this kind of play. And we'll try to make new two creatures at dance step, and then we can push with the fortress. We will see. This will be a hard game, man. I don't think we can win this, but we'll do our best. To be honest, this Liliana grind block kinda hurt us, because if I ultimated, he would have half of this mana, and that would make all the difference. Uh, but you know, it is... well... You know what? That is something. So if he needs to activate all of the Anchorages, that's a lot, right? Listen, if I pass the turn without doing anything, he casts this Deluge, gets double chase, and I'm dead. I'm probably dead anyway, but at least here I force a lot of mana. And even though he can kill three creatures a turn, I can make three creatures a turn. He doesn't know it yet. And he's not low enough for the fortress to, you know, be a factor. So we are basically trading mana right now. He needs th 4 mana or 3 mana uh, to block and I need 4 mana to attack. So we are basically both trading mana. One, two, I can activate triple Mirex. You know, we don't have cards so this is as good as it gets because we force them to not use cards even though they have 8. And they need to be super scared every turn. Just hopefully the tapper won't tap Mirex while I'm activating Mirex. I will pay attention. I don't think there's any chance of it, but you know. I already. Man, I missed a lot of tempo by misplaced this game. If I played it perfectly. Oh my god, what a bad draw! Alright, I think. Man, this is such a bad play. So if we go this one to... Oh, I lack one mana still. Because I cannot triple Mirex in this situation. I can double Mirex and that's bad. Huh. They really go for this again. I think so, man. I really think we have to. One, two... Then he's at one mana every single turn. Well, not really, because he has the Anchorage, so it's 3 mana, probably. <laughs> and what a weird game. I don't think we are winning, it because uh, we are coming to a breaking point when he will draw something. And our draws are just lands. So we cannot even force, like, going Kaya or something. I honestly shouldn't play the land before the combat phase, because when I draw Kaya, I, want, I don't want this to seem different. Because then I hold the card. Uh, contrary to the previous place and then that's suspicious that maybe I drew something. But see, we kinda completely locked his hand, but to be fair he doesn't need to do much. He can start playing at the step and killing those, well, not really, because we basically, uh, we always force him to play main phase basically. Like, at the step there are no creatures to remove, which is something I didn't really plan for. Or arena. <laughs> Alright. I think we have to go for it, man. 
if he was at 5 or something, I would start going with the Fortress, but 9 is way too high. Man, what a weird game, isn't it? I'm basically forcing his mana every turn. Uh, but he is getting at 4, so that means on this turn he can cast Memory Druge. But at least he cannot counter spell with the with, you know with uh, all the modes. So I'm getting a little bit of value. I don't think I will be able to da trigger Mirex. One, two. Oh, I will be able to. That's cool. One, two, three. Uh, they ha they can hard counter spell, but they are not getting the value. Good for them. Good for them. What can you do? And this is the problem. They are increasing their mana every turn, so we kind of lock them. But every turn they are basically having, you know, one mana, now two, three, four. And soon they will be able to start playing their cards. See, that was the first card that was... Why would you... <sighs> okay, with this we probably lost. The whole strategy, the whole strategy was to create triple tokens every turn. Well, the top man... Oh man, the small misplays absolutely suffocated this game plan. You know, the draws are not perfect as well, but we're, you know, trying. So I want to kill the Tidebinder because that's the only blocker that doesn't require mana. Let's see if they counter it. Alright, no. Man, honestly, this third token... I told you, I, I, <laughs> I was checking the tapper, but I, I, I kind of let the guard down, like it didn't seem to tap this way. So I thought, well, there's no reason to tap like this. Uh, Mirex should have high priority, but maybe Fortis has higher? Maybe I'm... Man, I think that was the case. Uh, but that's really bad. Uh, this was our good turn, so we can start getting some advantage. And we wasted it. Instead of having extra might for the next turn, now we have nothing. That's insanely big deal. Man, I'm a little bit salty at myself. Like, I should... Man, I just need to manual tap this. See, and this is the moment. He can do all of this and still play Memory Dush for the Jace, and that's probably where we lost. So on the bright side, this last turn didn't matter probably because he will he's trying to find the Jace. Uh, I don't know if he plays two or three, uh, but I think he will have two of them very soon. All right. See, it taps the Mirex. Why would you tap Mirex? Oh man, this is so annoying. We need to manual tap. Listen, that battle will be legendary. I don't think we'll win, but we'll, you know, give a fight to our opponent. Also, it's, uh, you know, not our best matchup. We are, we, we are not even aiming in this. Uh, there is Field of Ruin. So, our opponent got the card he needed. So now, man, I, this actually did matter, right? Because if uh, if I had one extra might, that would be a big difference. Okay, this this might be a draw that changes a little bit, you know? See, we tax his mana every turn. Imagine what he would do by now if he didn't need to tap this mana. And no reason to not do it. And he needs hard counter spells for those because of all the mana we have. Uh, after Field of Ruining, we need less... Man, maybe I should go with the Fortress. I forgot that I have too much mana, probably. Yeah, I could go for it. Ah, oh, that another misplay to the collection. You know, but I don't mind games like this. At least I know that if I lost, it's because I'm bad. That's that's a good thing to, you know, <laughs> to have a realization about. All right, two damage goes through. Six poison. Uh, on the next turn, we man, I think there will be no next turn. I think he will probably jace soon. He definitely has one, but man, that's another field of ruin. Really bad. Like our game plan is slowly fizzling with those top decks. Okay, it won't tap the Mirex. We need to go with the Fortress. I wonder which road he will go. <laughs> you don't need to do it, but you can. You absolutely can. All right, let's go for it. Uh, it also kills land because we already drew all the basics, uh, but it's fine. Look at all those cards, man. Oh my god, so much value here. Alright, but it's fine. Man, if we can sneak Kaya, this might be a Leafar. See? There are still lands here. 
All right, we're going with it. I need to also cycle this because that's extremely... Like, I'm on the verge of trying to pressure him enough. I cannot throw lance, man. All right. I have a bad feeling about the end of this game, but we are trying. Uh, I don't remember how many Emperor... I think we stole two of them. Uh, let's... I mean, it doesn't matter. All right. Good for our opponent. And we only have one Mirex. Uh, I assume they will die to Lockdown or Sunfall, so, you know. And he's pre-activating it, all right? Man, he might be at nine poison. We will see. Uh, here's the removal, right? Oh man, we got them to nine. Okay, okay, that's a no joke. We need, man. If I played it right, I would be winning this already. Because I would have one extra might every time. That is okay. I think that's okay. It's not like it's killing us. Uh, it will disable Celestus, so that's of course not perfect. Uh, but it's not like crazy. The, the bad thing is just this draw. Because uh, instead of increasing power to break him, we actually fizzled on the power and he will get stronger on the next turn. While we want. And the lockdown kills only our side of the board, which is even worse. And he probably plays four lockdowns. I see two here. Let's see the graveyard. I think he has one or two lockdowns in the hand. Oh, is that the time? I think he's digging for the Jaces. He has exactly eight mana for double Jace. So it might be the time. But mate, man, if I win this, I will be the happiest person ever. <laughs> It's honestly a really good game, but um, not by me, unfortunately. Like, I made some... Ins okay, so this is a sun for probably. Alright. So that means he will be able to block the last uh, might with the token from, from sun for. That also means if we hit Kaya, it is possible we win. But we need to hit her. And we'll have one extra card. We also force a uh, tap. A full tap basically if we attack I really need to draw something that is really impactful like think about avarice oh right now I get my stuff oh man that's huge please stop with the land man if I draw lands oh all right I can get chase listen listen we have to play like this we have to play like this because he is forced to activate it, because this is Leafar. Man, deadly cover-up is not what I wanted, but it actually might work, because it both kills this and removes his win con. We absolutely evidence this. Man, we evidence the hell out of this. Uh, lockdown into what? Let's go Arena. Man, we still have robbers. One, two... I think we have three. So we should still have the robber as well. He has one mana. So that means probably March. My friend. Here we go. How many did you stack? What? He's playing single Jace in his control deck? Are you serious? Alright. Okay. What? Is that is that his his library is six cards? What? <laughs> what? How am I winning on the meal? Against the control. Alright, so... Uh, graveyard doesn't matter. So, this is his hand. This is the match we have seen, because he has one mana. Emperor and Farewell. Alright. One march for the token, probably. In the library? He doesn't know what he has in the library, because he probably doesn't remember. But we will. So, it's basically Emperor, Sunfall and Mirex. Alright. Man, I'm so bamboozled. I would never expect a uh, we keep it because we can cycle it. That he doesn't play more than one Jace. Man, he's actually at five cards. He needs to kill us very soon with no meal. Here's the Emperor. Main phase, so he can avoid, you know, the cycling uh, from Celestus. Man, if not my misplays, we would already be winning this. Oh, it's so such a frustrating, you know, realization. And you can see that he's starting to be extremely aggressive. He knows he needs to kill us soon. The map tokens, uh, there is one land. So he will get the plus one, plus one counter, and that's what he wants. He doesn't want to draw cards. However, he might not realize, well, he will. 
So he will probably not draw a land. Yep, that's an Emperor, that's the card he really wants to ramp up the pressure. We need to start doing good cards, man. Like, we really need to start doing good cards. Are you a good card? I don't know. I really don't know. Man, those Samurais are insanely good against what we have. I want those tokens because I want to slow him down. He needs to kill us. Man, that was that is the wildest game I ever played, I think. Okay, maybe not ever, but close to. I I don't think I will win this, but man, we have a first shot. Alright. Sunfall is a card that matters. I think I, I didn't pay attention to the hard counter spells. I think he didn't have those, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he is super aggro right now. And that's the correct choice. The problem is that we cannot kill those. Uh, not at instant speed. So he has to make another blocker, right? With the Emperor, and he also has another Emperor. So he can have three tokens. Yep, he will keep every card on top because he just wants to pump those. And he knows that we have problems with killing this. Man, I wish I hit, just hit Kaya and won in the game into turns, but you know. We must protect the people. Of course, we go for this. Right? Well, it's hard to use the reverie, honestly. It is hard to use the reverie. They can play the Emperor as well. It's not not looking great, man. I can try to hit him, then I can play the reverie. And then... Oh man, is that good? Well, uh, it's so... No, I really want the Sanfor, right? Because I want to have instant speed creature, basically. That's really awkward, man. And I cannot use the reverie for a good result. I think that means we have to go this. I think we have exactly enough mana. Man, I really don't want to lose this one, but I'm not sure if we can win. Let's draw a card. Here she is. Here she is. But is that too late? I cannot cast her on this turn, because I cannot pay 3. Alright, so I think this has to be sun for right? Then they play Emperor, they make a token. And I have my... me... okay. <laughs> we'll see. We can try to reverse the situation. The problem is they also have this. They actually have a lot of answers. Alright. That means no Emperor. I'll take it. I will take it. They can deal a lot of them. Oh, maybe they have two. Alright. Okay. This is good for them. Good for them. But I don't think they can kill us on this turn because they didn't have the Emperor thing. They are really trying to kill us. Which makes sense. 8, 10, 12 damage. That's not lethal. The problem is I cannot sneak too much damage here. Because of the Vigilance. Emperor is absolutely amazing against the Might. And because I missed this one Might. Man, I think I will lose because I, I let the Tapper tap this one Mirex that turn. He's at 9, he would be at 10 and we would win like 7 turns ago. And he still has a lot of time. I can also draw Robber and win on the spot, but I don't assume that I will be as good at Magic, you know? We are definitely getting new cards. No, extremely bad draw. Sure that probably also extremely bad draw, right? At least we can force a Lipa. So he's trying to go for the Emperor. This will be so hard. 
This is such a weird play, but it makes sense with what we have. Alright, we go with the Reverie. We have less cards. That means we are getting additional draw and full value from this card. 4-7. We can go Kaya into... Well, they don't have no more lies anymore. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, I think I'm good at magic. Right? I just play it. And I just win. <laughs> Seems like a good plan overall. Three cards. Let's go for four because at this point I'm paranoid. A three, four. Right? There's nothing he can do about it. I rob ya. And I win ya. Oh my, I'm so happy. This was additional draw from Sunset Reverie. Right? We... Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm so happy. Man, I wasn't sure if we can do it. Oh man, that was in that was insane game. Uh, to be fair, I, it took so long because I played really bad, but I'm so happy it didn't matter in the end. Oh man, what a game. I'm so happy we won this. I'll tell you, man, that was so important to me. It was way important than it should be. But after you play for so long and you know that you could have won the game, but you messed it up with the tapper, with, you know, those small misplays, you really want to win because that kind of, you know, erases your misplays. You know, not fully, but you get the idea. Like, you don't feel super guilty about losing this game. So I'm really happy we did it. And what about the games? Like... You, I know you didn't expect the full video will be 40 minute single match, but I thought that this is absolutely epic. I love magic like this and I had a really great fun, especially why I'm so happy with this because Control is honestly the weakest matchup for this deck because you have three Reverse, four Lockdowns, three Emperors, two Sunfalls. Man, this deck is built to build aggro decks basically. And we actually got matched with Control and we beat Control just because of Mirex's Field of Ruin and you know, just going on. Uh, the draw we, that we had wasn't even good uh, because we had Arena. Normally we want to set up Arena into Avaris very soon, uh, duress them and you know, go for some big place like maybe Kaya, maybe huge robbery for five and they usually scoop at this point. However, we were on the slow side, we didn't start with Arena, uh, Liliana was super awkward, it didn't really work, like the whole plan fizzled also because of my misplay, right? Because I didn't, I played the land that I shouldn't and then I had to keep Mirex in my hand so I couldn't activate her. Would it make a difference? Honestly, I don't think it would super much because in the end he would still tight bind at every single turn, so we couldn't do ultimate at any point, right? I guess the best we could go for seven loyalty minus six, then they are forced to play the tight binder, and then we go from one loyalty again. But there's no world where we would go to seven. So no, <laughs> like this was game that was all over the place, and you could see the value from each card in our deck, and this is the reason. Why we play three robbery and not two? This was the deliberate choice because two felt too like too little for you know a full uh, control deck like this because we don't really have great win cons against control other than the robbery and the mirror. So we kind of need to make sure they go through, especially if Duress and Lidiana. We can really you know butcher their hand a little bit together with deadly cover up, and that means they don't have perfect answers for this one. So. The point with Robert is not only you get card advantage, not only you mill them, but you are stealing the best cards for the matchup. Counter spells, you know, Emperors, Mirexes, this kind of stuff. If you can steal enough of those, your opponent doesn't have counter spells and you have them, even you, you know, you play Orzov. And that swings the game extremely in your direction. So that's why Robert is so devastating against control decks and it's still good against all the other decks. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one <laughs> match of a set. I hope you had as much fun as I did and man, I'm so happy we won this. Uh, so yeah, tell me in the comments what you think. I hope you had the great fun. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope it was, you know, exciting for you as much as it was for me and see you guys tomorrow.